Welcome. All right, so uh, I've made a lot of these videos, you know, broken these all up, but what I want to do is, is give you a property of exponents overview because we're going to be applying the, pro um, the properties of exponents in a lot of different types of courses. So I want to make sure I can have something where, you know, you can write them all down and go through them. And, and I have some different videos explaining why and where the properties of exponents come. But for this, this case, this video is just to kind of give you an overview of exactly what the properties of exponents are and, um, and how they are going to compare. So the first one is, remember, the product um, or the properties of exponents are going to deal first with the product. And what the product just states, if I have x to the m times x to the m, that means the main important thing when applying this property of exponents is my bases are exactly the same. All right, My bases have to be exactly the same um, for me to be able to apply uh, these, prop this, these property of exponents. So x to the m times x to the n, that's going to equal x to the m minus n. Then I can deal with the quotient property. And the quotient property is now going to be a division. So I have f x to the m divided by x to the n. Again, the base has to be exactly the same. Then I'm just going to simply x to the m minus m. All right. Um, this also works for what case we call the power, the power rule. And the power rule just states if I have x to the m raised to another power, then that's going to be the product of my two powers. So that's going to be x to the m times n. All right. Now, there's that, we're just not going to leave it over with that. We also deal with a lot with um, negative exponents. And there's a couple different ways to write the negative exponents. All right. So when we have a negative exponent, mainly let's say I have x to the negative n. If I want to rewrite that as a positive power, I can rewrite that as the reciprocal of 1 over x to the positive n. And similarly, if I have 1 over x to the negative n, and I want to rewrite that as a positive, I can rewrite this now as x to the positive n, as long as I put it back in the numerator. Notice this is the denominator, and this is going to be the numerator. Now, a lot of times, um, the next two properties get often confused. Um, but notice these worked only with multiplication and division, right? Um, so when we have our addition and subtraction, these properties are not going to apply. Um, but what we're going to do is the power to product rule and the power to quotient rule. Okay. So what the power to product rule and the power to quotient rule state is if I have an exponent, um, x to the, let's do x to the m divided by x to the n. And both of those are raised to the p power. What that means is I can now distribute, oh, that's power to the quotient. What am I doing? Let's say I have x to the m times, uh, let's call it, let's do y to the n to the p power. Okay, so we can have different bases here because we're not actually combining. We're not combining these two powers uh, or these two bases. Because if we did, then we could just combine them. But let's say we have different bases. Um, we could have the same exponent or different exponents, but both of those they're being multiplied. They cannot be added or subtracted. This does not work with addition or subtraction, but it does work for multiplication. So if I have two two exponents being multiplied and they're raised to a power, then I can distribute that power to my other two powers. So now, remember, when we take a power and we raise it to another power, this is now going to be x to the m times p times y to the n times p as well. All right, so we can distribute this. But please remember, this does not work for when my two exponents are um, separated by addition or subtraction. But it, does, it works for the product as well as the quotient. So let's say I have x to the m divided by y to the n. If those are both raised to the p power, now I can distribute that p to both of my powers. So therefore, this can simplify to x to the m times p divided by y to the n times p. Now, I decided to kind of use letters um, instead of uh, some numbers. But you, you, know, you can simply easily just apply this with our numbers. And we're going to be doing a lot of this. Uh, but I wanted to give you kind of just the overview how it's going to work, how my prop rules of exponents are going to work for any really true values. Thanks. Oh, well, I guess I should let you know then, um, to maybe not confuse you. We can say that mn 
and p are going to represent numbers, where my x's and my y's are going to represent my variables um, in a case. So that's how the example, but I, you know, other course I have on how to simplify these, this is just a brief overview. Thanks.